What's up, y'all? It's Mike in the building. Oh, let me turn this up so I can hear myself nice and good. Not technically wearing pants right now, so hopefully I don't have to get up to close this window. Um, running uh, Clerics today. Uh, I had a lot of fun with uh, Gix the last time. I've, I've been meaning to try and do another video. Uh, I didn't want to just play with Gix again. I haven't really been making changes to that, but I have been working on this Clerics deck. And it's... It sees some success, um, but I didn't feel like it was quite ready for a video. It probably still isn't, um, but this is where I'm at right now. It's very toolboxy. Um, a lot of like pseudo tutoring going on, uh, mostly with Shadow Rite Priest. This is kind of what I built it around. Um, it pumps other clerics, which I really don't even care that much about. I'm more interested in the activated ability. So it's three black, black, tap, sack another cleric, and then I can search for a black creature card and just put it on the battlefield. So uh, the black creatures that I'm looking to cheat out uh, are, there's, there's actually not that many. Um, Toxril is always really annoying to play against. I thought that would be fun to just cheat out uh, in this way. Um, Dreadfast Demon, Dreadfeast Demon, excuse me. Um, a lot of time we have a lot of little creatures kind of hanging around um, so we can turn our board into a bunch of 6-6 six, six flyers. And um, Lord Xander it was kind of an interesting one. That's what kind of makes the uh, color combination. I'm splashing blue and red um, just in case I ever end up on turn seven with this in my hand because I don't have anything that like ditches cards or really reanimates anything from the graveyard um, so really the only way I'm playing this is if I'm playing it from my hand or cheating it out with the priest um, so when it enters target opponent discards half the cards in their hand rounded down when it attacks, they mill rounded down, uh, mills half their library rounded down, and then when it dies, target opponent sacks half of the non-land permanents they control rounded down. Uh, so kind of an annoying card there. Uh, we have a uh, board wipe here for a bunch of things. Gix's Command, this is my first time running this card. So far, it's been great whenever I've drawn it. Um, Liza, Liza? I think it's Liza. Um, just kind of helps if we're sacking things uh, to the priest um, sometimes we can just get them back to our hand for more value. Also, just a 4-5 or five Flying Lifelinker. Pretty good. A lot of times I'll, I'll even cheat that out, depending on the circumstances. Um, Children is the probably the latest addition, aside from Gix's Command. Uh, I was just losing a bunch of games that I felt like I, I shouldn't really have been losing, or uh, I just kind of would run out of steam. Children is a really nice speed bump for our opponents, um, or just Game Ender. Um, but it's a nice speed bump when we're trying to get to our plan. Uh, they have to feel, you know, figure out how to deal with that while we're putting together that kind of priest combo. Um, it gains us some life too, which is important, um, and just wins games sometimes. Um, the Overseer, I've, I've always liked this card. Um, it's really simple. It's a 2-1 flyer. When it enters, you gain a life and draw a card. Um, that's kind of the bulk of our card draw, I think. Um, and it's a cleric itself. So now as we get lower into the curve, we're going to see all of our cleric stuff. There's minor um, human um, synergies with Jaren. The 2-3 human cleric, when it enters or another non-token human you control dies, you lose a life and create a 1-1 one, one white human creature token. You can pay 2 to give target human lifelink. And at the beginning of your end step, I haven't done this. Uh, if you have exactly 13 life, you may pay four black black and transform it into that crazy demon. Um, so that's why I'm, I'm trying to also run human clerics. There's not many of them. Jaren himself is a human cleric. Um, I thought there was one other one. This is a pretty clutch card that I cut down to one um, just because I liked it later in the game to kind of get back a priest that got shot down early. Uh, I might up it. I'm not sure. I like that it's a human cleric, it's got some life gain, it's got good stats for a 2-drop, and it can get back our uh, uh, Shadow Rite Priest late in the game. Um, we've got a cleric here, 2-2 two, two death touch, and then it trigger. It it's just more life gain, and um, just pings our opponents when things die, which they definitely do. Um... Human clerics here, just the little um, one drops that uh, when they sack, you still have value where you can play the other side of them for their disturb cost. That's nice. Again, more life gain here. Um, just one bone splinters. My removal, I've been constantly changing. That's why it's kind of goofy. I'm, I'm sort of just trying different things out right now. 
Um, we've got Bone Splinters, just one Destroy Evil. Uh, two Go for the Throat. I thought I was trying something else. Oh, no, that's, yeah, Go for the Throat. Um, I was running the, uh, I don't know, one of the other instances where you lose two life, and I, I just, I was cutting it close with life, um, with a lot of games, so I, I was trying to start, um, cut, like, some of the things where you have to pay life. Um, this was one of the things, just minor, but by the time you get to the third ability, you're losing life to draw a card, but then if you have a shoulder it out, you're taking three. Annoying. Uh, but yeah, I think we're good on all that stuff. Mana base uh, is mostly black and white. Uh, six basic swamps, six basic plains, and then I've got three the caves, um, four shattered sanctums, the checklands, and then a bunch of splits that have the red or blue, but also have one of our main colors, so blue, white, blue, black, red, black, red, white, and then our triumphs uh, to draw and just to give us more of our colors. I think that's it. Let's, uh, let's get in with Rick's. Actually, I want to name this to you, Rick's, because <laughs> it's humans and Rick's, clerics, I don't know. The joke. All right, let's let's do this. God, we're we're probably just gonna get destroyed. Shit. Oh, happy New Year's Eve, by the way. Okay, so we've got Evolved Sleeper, turn one. Yeah, this is fine. Spilled some of my coffee. Can't get up. Sorry, Dennis. And since we have the missionary, maybe I'll run out the priest. I don't know yet. Yeah, let's do it, whatever. Evolve Sleeper, Sleeper isn't a cleric yet, so he's not going to get the boost. Let's see how they handle the priest. Some people don't even really pay attention to it, because they either they just don't care about it, or they don't know what it is. I um, guess we'll get Jaren out and just keep rolling. Or... Let's activate this. And then maybe we'll hold up, go for the throat. We'll hold up, go for the throat, in case they play something, and then if they don't, we'll uh, level up Evolve Sleeper. Still not sure what opponent's on. Nothing, nothing played yet. But uh, they're green-blue. Maybe some kind of... Troll or uh, ramp. They're thirsty for discovery. That's all we know so far. Let's level this up. Hmm. And now I'm wondering. Let's maybe draw. I'd like to guarantee our fifth land drop. There we go. So now let's jam in. And then we'll run out something to sacrifice to the priest, since the evolved sleeper is already five power. I mean, that was a good game for us, but, I mean, we didn't really have much to go up against, so. But we curved out nicely. We had options. We had card draw. We were able to put pressure on them. Even if they played something, we would have had pressure on them. 
We had removal and a big death touch, dude. That was good. All right. We were close to cheating something out. It would have been cool to get something out there. It would have been cool to get uh, Zonder or whatever his name is to make him discard a bunch of cards. That could have been cool. That feels cool not wearing pants. It feels like a snow day. Actually, not at all. My window's open. It's not even cold outside. Hmm. This is a worse starting hand. We could roll with it. We have a playable. But if they remove it, we're just kind of stuck. We won the first one. Let's see what happens. Sometimes you mulligan and you just get all your, um... All your expensive stuff. And it feels bad. Of course, that's usually what you would ditch when you, uh... This has our black source, right? So let's do this. Opponent possibly on maybe tokens. Let's see, like a Gallagreeders, maybe. Apt Abzan. Commune with the spirits. On the top four of the library, you may reveal an enchantment. Okay, so it's Abzan Abzan enchantments. Land put in your hand, but the rest of the bottom. That's all we've seen from them so far, yeah? Okay. Through destroy evil. Okay, so we've got some interaction. Let's play our dual land. Definitely jam in. I don't know if I want a diabolic intent. What would we what would we look for? Four drop. We get children. That might not be bad. Heck it. We can definitely play it next turn. Opponent with a handful of cards. Swamp. They have a play? They gotta have a play now. Player noose. Wedding announcement. Okay, that's fine. My tox real, basically a dead draw. Let's run out our shield druid. So that was I guess that was good that we did that. Now if they try to get cute and draw off the wedding announcement. Next turn, they'll take some extra damage. If we draw a land, we could Gix's Command. There's almost always stuff you can do with that. Two creatures. We don't, so we wouldn't do the third mode. Probably wipe out the little guys. And maybe put counters on Shieldred. If we draw a land. Oh, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, I kept kept trying to figure out how to uh, beat Shieldred. That's why I ran the one destroy evil. Plus, it's good against enchantments. I can get rid of the uh, wedding announcement if need be, actually. But um, eventually, it was just can't beat him, join him kind of thing. Was, I had my first game this morning where I had a Shieldred against a Shieldred, and they just counteract the uh, loss and gain of life. So it's just it's just too good not to run, even though it's not a cleric or anything. Alright, so we can destroy that and just get Shieldred right back. What do we got? Six lands now? Yeah, let's do that. If we draw another land, we can start running out Toxreal. And we have removal for anything fancy they try to play. They might run out the um, thing that boosts for how many enchantments you have. I don't know why we know about that, actually. Why do we know about that card? Oh, because they had to reveal from this, right? Gotcha. Opponent in the tank. Hollowed Haunting. That can get out of control. But we can't really do too much. And hopefully they can't play anything else. 
Alright, well, it's on enchantment, so that's fine. We want to really start putting the pressure on them, I think. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty good for them. They're all land. I should get rid of that. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of this just to um, put more pressure on their life total. We drew the land, but it's a tap land. I guess we draw. Jam in, man. Get him down to two. I hope that's enough. I guess as long as they don't gain life. Do they have any way of gaining life that we know about? Yeah, they might get the Jukai. Have to play it. That would be all their mana. But it would trigger the Hallowed Haunting. It would be tough to get in. I think we're good, though. Because even if they play the uh, Life Linker, it doesn't gain them life until it does something in combat. There you go. Cool. This deck was trash without children. <laughs> Still haven't gotten to cheat anything out. But the deck works. Shout out Brandon Torres if you're watching this. He's probably the only person that watches my content. Although, the last... Um, video I got like a hundred views on maybe more not bad for my my magic videos I usually do worse <laughs> yeah 152 views who watches these let me know in the comments let me know what you like and what you don't like you probably don't like all my missed plays right all right, do we run out the Evolved Sleeper first? I don't like that. Five color deck or something? Yeah, let's run this out. Next turn, maybe we'll run out the uh, Chaplain and then start ticking up the uh, Sleeper. Colorless, pay one, tap for any color, or upgrade it. Eating Wormlet. Okay, so it's an artifact deck. Artifact creature. Is it a green, green artifacts? That'd be kind of cool. Death touch as long as you control three or more artifacts. Whenever an artifact that has a battlefield under control, gain a life. If this is the first time this ability is resolved, put a counter. Okay. Let me get another counter. I might jam in. We've got some life gain, though. We have our five lands for the priest, so maybe we'll try and set up for that. No blocks right now. Have a thing. Run it down to three cards. They have the bank buster for a card draw. Another land. Hmm. It's a little awkward. I'd like to. I'd like to level up the sleeper. I guess I'll do that because I can attack.
keep the chaplain back just in case we have to make a, a block. Opponent's probably not super concerned with their life total. Okay. Next turn, we want to get the priest out to set up for turn five, so that'll be good. We can level up the sleeper and, and run out the priest. Or maybe we run out the uh, pilgrim and the priest. Might be better. Gain some life. Have more threats. Jam in with the 3-3. Three, three. No blocks, because I think our chaplain is going to be our sack for the priest. I haven't seen any removal yet from our opponent. The stomper school, because it can't attack or block, but it can crew the uh, bank buster. I'm going to keep that in mind. That's good. Maybe what we'll do is we'll run out the priest and hold up, go for the throat. Mm. Go for the throat is not an artifact creature. We got to keep that in mind too. So we can't hit the bank buster. I'm wondering if maybe we should do that before they go to combat. Oh crap. I I goofed. Damn it. What happens if I kill this? It's already too late, isn't it? Ugh. It's alright, they're both clerics. We could still get our plan going, but that was a mistake. I mean I, I guess they trade, that's good. And we'll still have the removal. Could be worse. Now right, we're gonna get a power stone. Okay. What do we get? Got three cards in hand. I don't think I want the demon because that'll chew that'll eat up our uh our priest. Hmm. Let's do this. Cause even if they remove it. They'll have to sack some things. I don't think they have exile removal. I mean, that's pretty good to get out of their hand, right? <laughs> oh. Okay. Rude. At least we have a 6 6 blocker. Hey. Hmm. Six mana. Seven mana. We can run out a bunch of things. Let's do this. Oh, Power Stone doesn't go toward this stuff. All right. Uh, run out another one of these. Oh, 
Oh boy. <laughs> they draw a land, they're gonna get one of those. That's not good. So what does that do? Destroy... Oh, I thought that destroyed something. Right, and then they have to sack. <laughs> Guess that's fine. Does this exile at the end step? Yeah. Okay, I'll take it. They're gonna be able to do that again next turn. Something we can get value right off, uh, off right away. Yeah, if I get two of these, <clears throat> it's hitting my crap. What do they hit? Okay. We keep our priest. Play this again and draw and then sack it. For the flyer. Uh, maybe I should have done Shieldred. And then I guess we'll get rid of the priest. Yeah, we just got the. Uh... All right, we'll Let's see what they can do. Close game. Shouldn't have any way to deal damage to this this turn, I hope. And they're just dead, right? Woo! That was close. Good game, opponent, Jerry Rudd. All right, I'm glad that game happened because we got to cheat some stuff out. Bunch of things. Maybe not some of the best decisions. Xander milling them really, <laughs> really made things difficult for us. I probably shouldn't have attacked with him, I guess. It's hard to resist, though. It's just so. It's just like, oh, I'm gonna mill half my library. <laughs> Four color clerics. Q Ricks. Didn't think much about what I was keeping here. <laughs> Just a little slow. Well, let's get this out. Mono blue, which I really hate. Honestly, when I'm not playing on a video, I just scoop as soon as I know that it's like blue tempo. Don't have, don't have time for that. See, this is the crap I'm talking about. Super, super boring. We'll see what we can do. This puts two permanents out. like that. Not David. Sorry. 
least we've got removal for that stupid gin thing. Look for another fading hope. At least they're missing land drops, but their stuff is so cheap. What do we get? The demon. Uh, maybe I should have got something cheaper in case they bounce it. Because we're not going to be able to play that for... Who knows? We don't have any land in hand. But we are going to be able to have two of them. And then we can get the priest back. Okay. Destroy that. Get the hell out of here. Jam in, man. Okay. <laughs> it's the first mono game against mono blue that I've completed in probably months. Hmm. And we hit diamond. All right, we'll play one more. I'm surprised we even got to try and cheat anything out at all against Mono Blue. I'm surprised I haven't seen that card at all, the Priest. I mean, I guess it's not very good, but I haven't seen anybody trying to break it, unless maybe it's older and I just missed that when people were messing with it. What set is this from? Not this past set, set before. We'll try it. No turn one. Our opponent also does not have a turn one. We can kind of stall things out with the Overseers. Uh, so this is um, Zori's Soldiers. Darker Waste, Harbin. <laughs> what are these cards? <laughs> Retag with five or more soldiers. Creatures you could. Oh boy. Hmm. I really want to just get rid of that. I guess we can wait one more turn. They're not going to be able to play another reinforcements before their turn. Should be okay. And they shouldn't attack in if we keep our Overseer because we can just trade with it. No tags. This will be a good deck, maybe, to get Toxril out against. We can't do that for another couple turns, but we'll get rid of the Harbin now. Get the hell out of here. Maybe we'll play another Priest just to be safe. We don't have that guaranteed fifth land. I have no way to draw into it. Uh, I should have played that first to get the extra point of damage. Harbin. <sighs> what is this? What does it mean? Let's block with one. Block a toke. Let's see what they have. All right. We've got four cards. They have two, and we have card draw. I'm not really that concerned, actually. It's our only white sauce. Let's do this. Maybe draw into land. That'd be sweet. White source, preferably. Ah, okay. Got ourselves a ball game. No threats. Got our white sauce. Lisa. Probably Brutal Cathar, maybe? Nothing. They go. Yikes. Let's see what they play. 
What is in their hand? Do you think it's another land? They did have a board wipe. Let's run this out. Uh, you know what? We probably could have played Children because I think it would have bounced back to our hand. Let's do that. We'll have to release, uh, remove Lisa first. Liza. GG. Chump children. Maybe even block the veteran. Hmm. Yes. I'll just run this out. Maybe I should have held on to that just in case they have uh, a wipe. PG. Soldiers is not usually that easy to beat. They must have had a bad, uh, bad set of draws. All right, I'll leave it there. I'm happy with this deck. Uh, at the moment. I think it still could be better. Um, let me know in the comments who's watching because I know Brandon's probably the only person that tells me he watches and I got 150 views in the last video. So it'd be nice to know who's watching and what they think. Um, and let me know what you think of the deck. Let me know if you think Cleric's um, is okay in the standard. It's probably not, but I wonder if, if it got like another decent piece um, in whatever the next set is. I, I think it's like a Phyrexia set. Um, yeah, I wonder if there'll even be any clerics in there, but um, I feel like it could be pretty good if it gets another another strong piece. So, uh, And it's just fun. I love the... I, I've always loved the, the toolbox strategy where you can just run a, like a bunch of one of random powerful cards. Um, that's another thing, too. The, the cleric end of it works okay. And I could I could definitely add a couple more. There's the the vigilance one that I was running for a little while that um, adds attacks to your uh, opponent's spell of your choice. I think until it leaves the battlefield. Um, I don't know. I, I just I feel like I'm not good enough to pick the the right cards when I'm doing that. So I just cut that. That might have been a mistake. That card was good because it's a human cleric too, but um. We could also just get big bombs that we could put in there um, that are black creatures um, in upcoming sets that could make it really fun. So looking forward to that. Let me know what you guys think. Um, have a good new year. Don't do anything that I wouldn't do.